is up you guys so I'm coming back at you with another new video and this is gonna be a tutorial on how to do this advanced keying effect um like sa how Sam Coder does it and I did show you guys another tutorial on how to do the luma key effect but this is a bit more of a selective keying so you can kind of choose exactly where you want to key out but also it does take a lot more effort and time so yeah let's get started okay so i have my two clips right here i have this top clip of me on this rock and then the second clip of the time lapse in zion national park so so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate my top layer and then i'm gonna figure out where i want to start the keying effect so i'm gonna just start it in the random place like in the middle over here okay now we can press the roto brush tool at the top and then double click so that we can see the layer and then and then now you can see this pen little mark so now we can just select the areas that we want to have in our clip so i'm kind of just selecting all of me and also this is a really hard clip because my hair is moving all over the place so that's why it's easier to have a clip if um the person standing is not a girl because the hair goes everywhere <laughs> okay so you're just going to key out all the places that you want to have in your clip if you press alt this red marking shows up and this will delete some of the sections and the green marking will add some of the selections and also you can press command and then drag your mouse up so that the brush goes bigger and down for the brush to go a little bit smaller so you kind of have to do this really precisely so you can press command and the right arrow key to go frame by frame to keep keying out all the parts that you want okay so i kind of just keyed out like five frames or something i'm not doing that much for this tutorial but yeah so now if we go to this bottom left corner, we can see these little mans. And if we press the one with the red background, it shows us what we have selected, which is what's not red. And then we sh it shows the background, which we're going to delete. Now we can also go to the left and we can adjust these settings on the left. So there's feather, contrast, shift, edge, and reduce chatter. So... We need to play around with these settings so we get like a clean edge on um, what we keyed out. So I'm just going to adjust all these settings and and so feathering makes the edges a lot more cleaner. So it's not like a hard cut, which I really like to use. And shift edges kind of shifts the edge out or in. And you can also reduce the chatter, which also kind of does the same effect as feathering but you also have to shift the edge. So just play around with all of it. And now you can also press this man on the black background so you can see the mat and see what you have selected. So you can kind of see that the white parts edges are really, really blurry, which means we feathered it like way too much. So let's bring that feathering down and just keep adjusting it till you get what you like. Okay, so I'm gonna press the eye off on my second layer so that we could see our keyed out clip with the background. So you could, now you could see it. So basically it has me keyed out. Okay, I'm gonna turn the eye back on. And now we can do the whole transition effect sort of thing. So let's go to effects and presets and search up extract. And we're gonna put that on our second layer. Now, if we drag the black point, we see that the black parts disappear first. And if we drag the white point, to the left, we can see that the white parts disappear first. So for this one, I want the black parts to disappear first. So I'm gonna press the keyframe button for the black point for where I want the transitions to start and then go a couple frames forward. And then I'm gonna drag it all the way to the right. So now it does this effect. And I did it for the part where I used the roto brush tool. So now, in, so yeah, now you see that Sam Coder effect. And then you can also press U for the second clip and Adjust the keyframes to spread it out more so that the transition doesn't go so fast. I'm also just going to add some coloring right now. So I'm going to make a new adjustment layer and put Lumetri color and um, put the Osiris LUT on it. So now it kind of blends in a little bit better from the two clips because my first clip kind of stood out from this time lapse. Okay, now if you want the clip to fully disappear and transition into the time lapse we can also put extract onto our first clip 
and then press the keyframe button for the black point to where we want to start to make that disappear and we're going to go a couple frames forward and then it dragged that all the way to the right to 255 and then it disappeared but you can see like a little bit of some dots over here so i'm just going to press command shift d and delete and i'm also going to do the same for the bottom one so now we can see that it does the cool sam colder um extract effect so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in my next one peace